I'm going to be doing some karaoke singing for you. Oh. Okay. Go for it, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. Tequila. whole album actually <laughs> it was so stupid i loved it thank you <laughs> song choice is always important on this and not only the song choice but your exuberance and your excitement i love you i can't believe i'm saying this yes <laughs> covering themselves. Are you boys ready? Is everyone else ready? Drive this at home! Oh, 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 oh. 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 
thumbtacks in their feet. Oh my oh God! God. Yes. You need help? I, I didn't know what was going on. But you were laughing, were you not? No, I was not. I knew that it was a mess and that they were hurting themselves. That was the British equivalent of the ballet. It was different. There is an audience, trust me, who like this kind of thing, and I am one of them. And, and look, they've come a long way to entertain you, Sophia. You all seem very nice and handsome, but I already made my decision. I think sometimes you've got to listen to the audience. I think that's unanimous. That is three yeses. Okay, uh, hello. Uh, are there any guys with big muscles in the audience? No, good, then I'll talk about them. Um, it, you, know, you know, those big muscles make those guys so heavy that they cannot ride a pony. Um, however, they can break a fragile toilet seat. I mean, I mean, do they work out to attract the ladies? Well, actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. Uh, seeing is believing, and wing is relieving. He's the funniest bloke we've had in Hammersmith. More? Yes! <laughs> are, are you well? Yes. No, you're not a well, you, you're a person. <laughs> What is going on here? You are the funniest, unfunniest comedian I have ever heard in my life. I mean, absolute rubbish, but <laughs> it actually really, really made me laugh. Yeah, that, that was my uh, aim, to make you laugh. Well, you certainly did that, Gattis. It was so bad that it was actually brilliant. Yeah. You mustn't change. You seriously must not change. Not even the jumper. Keep the jumper. <laughs> well, what's wrong with my jumper? There's nothing make... wrong with it. It's hilarious. I'm going to kick this off because you did actually make me laugh, and that's what comedians are supposed to do, so I'm going to say yes. Thank you, oh. Thank you so much. It's a no from me today. Oh. It made me laugh. I'm going to say yes. yes.
What's your problem? <laughs> I think the idea of a dance group with dinosaurs is brilliant. Did you make the costumes? Costumes? They're not costumes. <laughs> Spinosaurus. Correct. Raptor. T-Rex. Raptor. Yes, well done, Simon. Thank you. Because you, you remember them from your youth, don't you? <laughs> I'm definitely saying yes. Great. I'm saying yes. Alicia? It's not quite Jurassic Park, so I'm saying no today. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily, I am going to say... Yes. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi there. I'm a bit scared. This is weird. <laughs> Hello, humans. <laughs> My name is Mr. Cuddles. I'm going to uh, win the money. That's why I'm here today on Britain's Got Talent. Tell you what I'm going to do with the money. I'm going to rule the world. <laughs> Unveil the Disguisatron. I knew you were going to Hold on, hold on. Now, this may look like just uh, spray painted cardboard, but this is advanced science. Simon. Yes. Would you please think of your favorite celebrity? Yes. Make it somebody really famous, really big. I've done it, I've done it, I've done All it. right, concentrate. I'm concentrating. All right, activate the disguiser trial. I am disguised as Silent's favorite celebrity. <laughs> I, I got a joke for you. What do you get if you mix Simon with a cephalopod? Cal Amari. All right, put me back. All right, I'm going to reveal to you the time machine. Simon, Simon, what? please. I love it. No, you don't. That's it. Thank you. I think Simon liked it because it was about you. <laughs> you want a yes or a no, Simon? Simon? Yes? Would you like to give him a yes or a no, dear? I will. Yes. Thank you, Simon. Amanda? Yes. No, it's a no. It's a no. All right, I'm going to say no too, but thank you so much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, many years ago in Cyprus, lived a man who loved to dance. He would dance for the villagers, and the villagers loved to watch him dance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, here for one night only, would you please welcome Mr. Stavros Flatley.
Simon. <laughs> Can I say, this is one of my favourite ever dance acts. <laughs> You just have the most fantastic relationship, don't you? Thank you. Yeah, it's great. I love that. You've got three yeses. Why you then to the show this year? I just want to inspire the world through happiness, positivity, and comedy. I like that. Before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge your host, Tyra Banks. What? Tyra, I truly admire your courage. It must be so difficult to host a show like this and still find a way to make it about you. <laughs> Somebody get his ass. Oh, that was just an appetizer. Howie Mandel. Yes. A Canadian judging America's Got Talent? What happened? Did they already find all three talented Canadians? you're here. I've always wanted to know what a big toe would look like if it were a person. <laughs> Enough with Bobby's world. Let's move on to Spice World. Oh, Mel B. Scary Spice. Hey, the only thing scary about you was your solo career. <laughs> Magical. Four children, and yet your body looks as though you haven't paid attention to any of them. <laughs> oh, no, he didn't. Heidi, it. you are a natural beauty. Why does it look like your face went through a Sephora sample sale? Oh, my God. What? I want to hear what you're going to say about oh, Simon. Oh, I'm getting to him. Don't you worry. Simon. 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 Simon, I'm confused. Didn't we form this country to get away from Brits like you? <laughs> calm down, peasants. Calm down. <laughs> But Simon, from all of us, thank you for fixing your British teeth. Those things are so straight and white, they were just offered positions in Trump's cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know quite where this one's going to go, but let's start with Howie. Uh, um, no. <laughs> uh, can I be honest with you? Yes. I think you're really funny. Thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> if those peasants had given me a chance... I actually did make me laugh, even what you said about me, so you got a yes from me. Thank you. <laughs> OK, uh, by the way, I know how this feels, but good luck. Take care. It feels amazing, thank you. Get off! Benji and Danny, how old are you? I am 73 years old. Wow, you look great. Right. I fall in love with Simon, darling. <laughs> what do you love about Simon so much? He pretends that he's tough, but inside of him is juicy, with love. Juicy? <laughs> Simon is juicy inside of him. Oh. Benji, are you going to sing or dance or...? I can dance, no, I can sing, no, but what... I can entertain people. No, but Singing what... is God's gift. What but are... the... what but are... entertaining is my passion. What are you going to do? I am going to sing. OK, can we just do it? <laughs> OK. Yeah. Would 
you give me a kiss later? Hug and kiss yes. later? Yes. If you do yes. well, you can have a snog, yes. <laughs> okay. It's the first time on the stage, actually. You've never been on the stage. Wow. Before. behind the beats on that one, Benji. I know, darling, because yeah. I get excited when I see you. I get it. I get it. I really like you, but it's going to be a no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Benji, I would have said yes, but there you go. Oh, thank you, Simon. Therefore, I think you should come up for the juicy snug. I'd love to do that. Oh, my God, my dream has come true. Come and kiss Heidi, you can. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you know, just because he says that, that, so doesn't mean you have to. He wants to. <laughs> Thank you. You let go now. What is the best thing about being Simon Cowell? Oh, 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 the best thing about being you. Well, it's cat, right? Is yeah, cat? hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored... Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought, hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and that's... you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. <laughs> Mr. Cherry, I love him. Yeah! <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Hi, Simon. How are um, you? you are my family's favorite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favorite Sorry, sir. and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America? In America, right? yeah. Uh, no, they are. I don't mean that disrespectfully. They just you are... don't mean that disrespectfully? No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> no. Na 
now he, now he can't be sacked. He'll just say anything he wants. <laughs> exactly. See, as I said, he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what word do you think he's thinking of and vice versa? What do you think Howie is thinking of? One word. And when I count to three, you're going to say that word out loud. Clear your mind. Okay. This is a mind reading technique to, to show that you guys are in perfect sync. Okay. okay. Read her mind. Three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> Earring and shoe. <laughs> Look each other deeply in the eyes, deeply. Three, two, one. Not much! Look at each other deeply. Understand each other. Three, two, one. Lipstick! <laughs> this is freaky! <laughs> Lipstick! Feel the power. Word? You have it? Yeah, yeah. Have it? I got it. Three, two, one. Handsome. handsome. What? Did y'all say handsome? Handsome! That was not. By the way, this is crazy. I Handsome. swear on my life, that was not prep. <laughs> I didn't plan that. What are three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks. Humility. Generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> I know you do! Let's, straight let's in there. replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence, ladies and gentlemen. I like girls, I like guys. Thank you! And you finally <laughs> said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. David. <laughs> Welcome to Buzzer Buddy. Howie, if you were cleaning out Simon's closet, what would you throw away first? If I was cleaning out Simon's uh, closet. You've got very minimal choices here, because he wears the same thing. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, it's between the white t-shirt <laughs> and the white dress shirt. And or the bell-bottom pants. The white t-shirt. The white Simon everything. <laughs> oh, that is get everything. It. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to give you that point. That is everything. I am giving you that point. What do you think, audience? They deserve that point. That's pretty much all. Simon Cowell for a day, what would you do? Don't answer Don't that. Don't answer that, because she's, she's there. <laughs> if, <laughs> be Simon for the day. Yeah, if I could careful. be Simon for the day... Yeah, if you could be Simon would for a day, do? what would you do? I would make love to me. I know you closed your eyes there, Simon. Was that just uh, the image going through your head, or...? <laughs> Do you know what? His sense of smuttiness gets worse <laughs> on a nightly basis. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show, and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance, and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, okay? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one! David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far, but don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great what question. Is What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is, it is magic. It is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, 
I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time you walk into the room, it's the weirdest thing. That's, get, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>